Hi, Anuj. Hi, Salman, sir. How are you doing? I'm good, Anuj. How are you doing? I'm very well. First of all, I just wanted to say I'm absolutely excited for Antim and your transformation looks absolutely Thank incredible in the film. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anuj. So, you know, Salman, sir, I mean, we've seen you play um, a Sardar soldier in Heroes before, um, but I think this is the first yes. time you're playing right. a Sikh police officer. So how right. would you describe the transformation and emotional process for preparing uh, the role? So, you know, um, there's the DOP, his name is Mahesh Dema, he's the DOP of, uh, of uh, Dabang. Mm -hmm. And he had worked on this film as the DOP. Right. So he told me that there's this one film, which is a really nice film. And uh, he did mention that, you know, that we should do this with Ayush, where, um, you know, Ayush was not ready for a film like this at that point in time, mm -hmm. you know, because soft chocolate boy look this guy was rough you know <laughs> underworld so i didn't take that uh, but he then he narrated the script to me in that plot i found a character which was hardly there in the original which i thought that you know we could take that character to the next level because i had already had a a character in mind mm-hmm it, this character had already, you know, in in, in, in in my mind that I want to play, you know, this this character. Sure. So then, um, after some time, and uh, during the lockdown, I was growing my hair, I was growing my beard. So, and there was no work. Mm. So then, I, Mahesh came to stay with me at the farm, and then I mentioned it. So, Mahesh, Mahesh also said the same thing. Then we saw the film, and then Mahesh said, you know, we can do this. And then Mahesh said that, you know, if we do this, you know, we should take... Are you in it? I didn't want to do that because you know, oh, brother-in-law working together. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah, it just gets you know, uh, and playing negative, and you know, the way he wanted to be a hero and then playing negative and stuff like that. So I didn't encourage that conversation uh, much. But the Mahesh had a uh, Manjurikar had a separate conversation with him and. He believed that uh, Mahesh could pull work out of Ayush. Right. It, and then when he he decided that, then it was not on to me. It was on to the director. The director wanted to work. I mean, he could have taken anyone else's name, but he saw he saw something in Ayush, and he wanted Mahesh. Also wanted that that you know he brings about that change in Ayush as an actor, and that is my mm. just forte. So I had no problem and I was 100% sure that Mahesh is going to do that. Mm. So, that, so then I went and told um, Ayush and Ayush was panicking. I said, if you want to do this, he said, no, I'll not be able to do this. But the director saying, then you go and tell the director. Mm. But uh, then Ayush thought about it and then he started, you know, working oh, out and transforming. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Try and in, in, in one week, I started seeing a difference, and in a month and a half, too, he looked the character. Wow, that's pretty amazing to see. No, that I not Yeah, it's pretty amazing. And you know, I think what's what's really amazing as well about you, Salman, sir, is that over the years, um, we've often seen you, you know, as the action hero in movies like Wanted and Antim, for example, as well as the yeah. gentle chap in Suraj Barjatia films, which I've had the pleasure of growing up with and loving over time. I still. I do. love her. Yeah. I love those movies. I'd, I'd rather do those movies than these movies anytime. Oh, really? Wow. Because, that's, that's yeah, you know, because, you know, there's so much of scruples and so much of principles and so much of niceness, so much of love in those movies that, you know, when you come out of that, na, those mm. movies, even though if you had a problem with your brother, sister, mother, father, you know, you want to go and sort that out instantly. That is the beauty. That is the beauty about Suraj's films. Mm. And what and what better than you know a family, you know who is like a disintegrating family who's not getting along. They go to watch the movie and they come back and they say, you know, forget it. You know, we were wrong. You know, apologize, go hug each other, and go back to being one family. Right. That is the best thing that you know cinema can do. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I was going to say as well, because even in uh, a film like Race 3, for example, which again is like a like an action thriller film, there was that whole yeah. familial value which came into play there. So to what extent, yeah. uh, Salman sir, are your characters, I mean, be it the action ones or the soft, gentle ones, to what extent are they a reflection of your personality and life experiences? So I, I feel like even Race, if you've seen the other races and you see the race that I did, mm. it was... 
a lot different from the earlier races. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. It was about it was about family, you know. It was about family. It was about brothers and sisters sticking together. That is what my race was. Yeah. Uh, and just generally as well, I guess your characters are probably a reflection of your life experiences too, right? And perhaps your personality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you know, Suraj and me, you know, say that there was like if you cannot change, you know, a negative into a positive negative character, like you know, in our case, gone those three aunties, you know, even they turn positive. Oh yes. Um, in so the only person who can do the only person who can do that is, you know. Uh, Suraj Brajatia, and that is his, his his sort of his type of films, and he's a master at that. Mm-hmm. And then we do it in like films like Dabang and everything. We just you know even Dabang there's family, mm-hmm. and then there's the negative, and then we need to you know finish the negative off. So good wins over bad. Mm-hmm. So we just keep it to I keep it I keep it simple. I just keep it to to emotion and action. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, I think also Salman, sir, we've been seeing a lot of cop films uh, recently. I mean, Surya Vanshi has done particularly well. We have Antim coming up. Um, very well, very well. And very Mardani, happy for them. Yeah. Yeah, and even yes, yes, Mardani yeah. too as well. Yeah, Vanshi, which yeah, was yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. So, wh- why is what is it about this sort of cop stories and the cop characters which really appeal to mainstream audiences? It's almost like as if how the West has superheroes, we have cops as the heroes. What is it about this narrative? Do you think that appeals to the mainstream audiences in India? Uh, so I guess you know when you see a cop, you know you want a cop to be like that. You want you want I mean you want to have faith in a, you know police inspector. You want to have faith in the law. So when you see this, you know you feel good about seeing all. Oh, mm-hmm. Now these are cops. Mm-hmm. You know, first they used to have you know uh, movies where cops used to come towards the end of the action, you know just to take people away. True. And uh, my father, my father has done Zanjeer, and he's done a lot of cop films earlier. Yes. You know, and so I get that. And for me, because my grandfather also was you know DIG police in the hall, so I have that that thing. Oh wow. So I guess that must have been yeah. a really huge influence and when you do play characters like Chulbul Pande or even Antim yeah. Rajiv Singh. So I guess that yeah. experiences must come really handy for you then, isn't it? For yes. playing such roles. They do. they do. And then there's a lot more that you can do as a cop, right? I mean catch the bad guys, beat the bad guys, shoot the bad guys, you know. Mm, true, true. And I think it sort of um, instills this faith in the public as well, in the justice system yes. as well, I Correct. guess, as well, isn't uh, it? Yeah, well, yeah they, they, they want, when they go out, they expect each and every cop to be like that. And when cops see these as well, it also encourages them to get fitter and be more, you know, like what they've seen, like a police inspector on, on, on screen. Mm-hmm. Right, then we... And then there's that Dabang character, he's also corrupt, but he, you know, eventually will do the right thing. Yeah, as <laughs> as he calls himself the Robin Hood, right? So, yeah. <laughs> so he helps him for the greater good, which is very interesting as well. It's quite an interesting character. Um, But I think Salman, yeah. sir, I mean, look, I mean, without, it goes without saying, you are a huge superstar. And there's so much love for yeah. you out there. Um. You know, even when I read posts as well, I see the amount of people that appreciate the characters that you've done and appreciate your work as well, especially with being human. What does stardom mean to you, Salman, sir? And what keeps you going in life, especially during times of hardship and setbacks? Seriously, I really don't know what stardom means. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if stardom means throwing tantrums, stardom means thinking no end of yourself, stardom means... Um, you know, uh, being arrogant and stardom means like, you know, having your way all the time, then I don't think that's stardom at all. I don't mm-hmm. think that's stardom at all. People, people mistake, you know, that it just, I mean, people have made you uh, God. I mean, you, your parents, you, you're on this, on this planet because of your parents. And then after that, you don't know what you've done. I mean, if you look at bodies, there are people who are like 10,000 times better bodies than I can ever, ever achieve, ever achieve. Hmm. Then if you look at books, you know, talent, a uh, billion times better, billion times better. But then here I am, that people in the country and in the world, people who ever seen my movies, you know, they're like, they're like me. Not that I'm the greatest actor, I, 
can do the best action. I'm just there. I'm just an average man who other people portray the writers, the directors, the action directors, the choreographers. They they just enhance, you know, whatever I have, and their enhancement is also not to that level. Mm. Is there only as much as little bit more than three five percent more than who I am actually? Really? So yeah. So I mean, uh, I mean, obviously action, everything. That's a different thing altogether. <laughs> Today we've got safety. We've got safety. We've got cables. You know, we've got VFX. So you know, they all make it look good. Yeah, absolutely. But if you compare, if you compare all the fighters' action to me, then uh, it's like not even like you know. Twenty percent of what they can do, True. because that's their basis. That's their profession. They train like in Sultan. I trained for six months to actually be a wrestler. Oh yeah. So all this hard work, hard work goes in behind the scene, and then it's really hurtful and painful. Hmm. And the older you grow, the harder you need to work. Hmm. So I guess it's obviously that love of the fans that keeps you going, especially in down times as well, when things aren't going quite right in life as yeah. well, right? That and then there's one thing that you know the people who um, you know uh, are fans of yours who compliment you so that should keep on and then there are people who like um, you know they're not with you you know you need to work so hard that eventually they will say uh, they'll appreciate your work. Absolutely, I think on a final note as well, Salman sir. I mean, Antim is looks like a very, very exciting film. I mean, I'm been a Manj- Mahesh Manjrekar fan since Vast of Days, and I think it's so wonderful to see him revisit this whole gangster uh, narrative again after so many years. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I think also a lot of our v- viewers and readers are really excited for Tiger Three. So what can we look forward to from you in that film? Uh, you'll you'll. Whenever you see a film of mine, uh, just look for one thing that uh, I would uh, give it my hundred percent best in it. Usme koi shak ki baat definitely nahi hai, Salman sir. So we're very much looking forward to that, and uh, I think it's been a huge dream to actually interview and. So thank, thank you, so thank you, thank you so much. All right, take care. Bye. Bye, bye, Salman. Bye, bye. Thank you. Bye, bye. Thank you.